Hello and welcome to Transurf and Chill on Transurfing TV. This is the show where I'm going to be interviewing Renee Garcia about literally every single concept in reality transurfing and breaking it all down for you. Really excited to be bringing the show to you all. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the queen of transurfing, Renee Garcia. Okay, so we're here and we're talking today about how to defeat pendulums. Is that right, Renee? Uh, yep, that is, that is, that is correct. I think this will probably be a pretty helpful, uh, episode. Um, it's, uh, we, we covered a lot last time talking about pendulums themselves, how they can be good for you, how when we engage in them, um, they can, they can suck our energy or they can actually lift us up and light us up as he says in the book, depending on what they are and how we basically make a contract with the pendulum itself. So if we find ourselves in a destructive pendulum, then what we're going to want to do is defeat it. So uh, I guess we'll, we can go ahead and start talking about some strategies for that. Yeah. And I think also too, um, you know, dealing with pendulums, uh, defeating pendulums, so to speak, um, in the negative sense, that's, that's obviously beneficial. But even in uh, in the case of doing business uh, with a pendulum in a positive sense, you're still going to want to apply these techniques because, um, you know, you, let me just say this. One of, one of the, one of the most um, f- fundamental um, f- approaches to defeating a pendulum is to uh, drop importance, right? So, so what happens is pendulums get us to believe that whatever it is that that it's pitching is important, and that's how it dials us in, right? So, so in a negative sense, you want to learn the concept drop importance and some other ones too. Um, but it's the same with positive pendulums because let's say that you are hooked up with a pendulum that's giving you something. If you create importance around whatever business you're doing with that pendulum, you're still setting yourself up for a number of things to happen, right? Right excess potential balancing forces to come in and possibly, you know, your, your, your business deal with that pendulum is going to go bad if you create that environment via importance. So, so, so the concepts that we're going to be talking about, um, you know, it's, it's good to, it's good to spread them out just generally Oh, 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 through your entire reality in regards to pendulums, you, you, you definitely want to learn to approach everything with a, uh, a very balanced, um, from a very balanced place where there's little importance. I mean, that's really the, the, the brass tacks of it. Cool. So uh, whatever it is that, you know, if we make it a big deal, then it actually, it just gives it more power. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, uh, so defeating pendulums is actually a very, um, this is a very, very rich subject in the book because you've got a lot of different concepts flying around (laughs) and a lot of reasons, a lot of reasons why these different concepts are flying around. I mean, if we just take a look at this chapter in the book, there's um, everything from, you know, renting yourself out, uh, activating your inner observer, um, excess potential, what that is and why it's bad for you, um, equilibrium or balancing forces, what that what that does when those are invited in, and then again, dropping importance. So, you know, it, it, yeah, this is going to be this is going to be a pretty comprehensive approach to dealing with a lot of different aspects of your reality, um, you know, in, in the sense of how you're going to connect um, importance, um, excess potential, 
uh, all, all that kind of stuff. That's like um, that's like a, a a tether, if you will, from yourself to outside circumstances, and you just want to make sure that you're in control there, right? You don't want to have uh, you don't want to be connected to something via importance to a point where you've lost control. Your importance is super high and uh, yeah, we'll go into why that will wreak havoc on your reality. So basically we want to be in the position where we're at the cause and the, and, and other things are at the, the effect other than like, if we make a big deal out of something, whatever that pendulum is, then basically we're giving it the power and we're saying that it's in control. It's at the cause and it's manipulating us. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So, so there's a few, there's a few stories, um, that I like to use as examples, specific, um, specific stories. And, 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 and I'll start off with this one. I love to use the media because I think we can all agree that, um, we all have some sort of relationship with, you know, media, be it social media, you know, the news, politics, current events, so on and so forth. Um, so, so this is, an, an, uh, this is a story that I think um, displays a lot of these um, a lot of these concepts succinctly. So uh, I'll start off and I'll tell you, and then I'll tell you how I'll tell you the story, and then I'll tell you how each concept sort of um, plugs into this. So uh, a few years ago, I moved um, to, to live with my grandparents who live in uh, rural Oregon, okay? And they, they're, they're, they're elderly and they live out in the country so they don't have a lot of stimulus, right? They don't have a lot of stuff going on. Um, the one thing that they do uh, participate with on a daily basis is media, Right. Uh, from early in the morning until late at night, they have the um, they have the news on and it's not good news. It's like MSNBC or, you know, CNN. And it's and it's on very, very loud. And it kind of commands, uh, you know, com it commands the household, so to speak. Um, and there's really no getting away from it. So, so here my grandparents are, you know, they're, they're, they're older, they're slowing down, they're not spending much time outside of the home and they have this on and they are completely dialed into it. As soon as something happens, um, that comes up on the news, the volume gets raised. Everybody starts, Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What, you know, what, what's, uh, what, you know, what's going on with the world and, Oh, I can't believe we're leaving the world in this way. And, and, and we'll, and we'll, uh, we'll talk about, uh, that particularly a little bit later. That's called the generational shift, right? Believing that everything's sort of going to hell. Uh -huh. Um, so, so that happens, right? And, when I first moved there, um, I had just found Transurfing. So I uh, was not able to detach myself in the way that I have since learned to detach. So, so when, when, when something would happen, let's say a school shooting in the U.S., right? Um, this energy coming from this pendulum would have everybody hooked, uh, including me. Right. And I couldn't. And, and it, even though I didn't want to be hearing about it, I was still tuned in because I hadn't quite learned the skills yet to, to tune out. I didn't quite understand what to do. The only way that I could possibly get away from this pendulum was to um, exit the room, was to leave. So this continued to happen until I figured out that I could one, uh, drop importance on what I was hearing, right? I know a lot of people struggle with this idea and I've had a lot of people DM me and email me privately and message me um, asking me, um, gosh, you know, if I, if I stop paying attention to current events and, 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 and politics and the media, I'm going to look like a person that doesn't care, you know, and that's bad, right? The pendulum has con convinced us that if you don't care, then something's wrong with you, right? You've got to care, right. especially here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's really, really powerful pendulum, right? So, so I figured out a way 
to drop importance. And, and the way, and the way that I did that was I, I, I convinced myself one, I don't know any of these people, you know, this is not happening in my immediate reality right? Um, these people were not outside of my home getting shot and I'm seeing bodies laying on the ground or some other horrible visual or something that's in my actual reality. This is away from me. I don't know these people. I never will know any of these people. Um, this is in a, a completely different place. Um, and if I tune into this, right, I am, um, I am disabling my ability to resonate at a frequency where I can actually produce something of value or something good in my reality, right? If I'm tuned into this thing, it's giving it my energy and I don't then have the energy to do something, uh, to do something better with my energy. So that's sort of how I learned to detach from uh, detach from the media pendulum. Okay. So I got better and better at this over time. And it finally got to the point where I could be in the same room. Um, the, the thing could be on blast. Everybody could be all, you know, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a state, you know, very excited state, very upsetting state. Um, and I could tune it out now. Um, the pendulum did not like that. The, the the adherence to the pendulum did not like that and this comes in the in the form of my grandparents um thinking that something was wrong with me right so so what happened was one particular day uh you know the school shooting happened or some other horrible thing and um there were other people at the house the thing was on blast everybody was all upset and uh Finally, my grandmother decides to, you know, sort of attack me and shame me, right? Which is one of the main tools of, of, uh, of, of pendulum. She says, oh my goodness, I never thought I would have a granddaughter that doesn't care about her community, right? So there it is, right? There's the hook and the pendulum will get more and more, uh, more and more desperate right? Because it wants to validate itself more and more desperate to try to use whatever tools it can to get you to, 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 to plug back in. So then she says that to me. And then my grandfather says, what are you doing for your community? If you're not paying attention to this right now, how are you? And, and, you know, initially I would start to respond by saying, how is this helping anything? Right? How is this helping anything? But again, that's me plugging into a certain part of that pendulum, right? The argumentative, um, you know, it doesn't matter how you feed it with positive or negative, you're still feeding it, right? So, so that's where the inner observer comes in. And the inner observer is a really, really, really powerful tool when it comes to defeating pendulums. Um, your inner observer knows what is good for you and what is not good for you it your inner observer is very good at regulating your energy out okay the 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 the, the problem is or the challenging um thing about that is is a lot of people have over time um silenced the voice of their inner observer because the pendulum has convinced them that their knowing or their voice, their inner voice is not important. You need to plug in to what the pendulum wants you to do or the way the pendulum wants you to think and your inner voice is of little value. That's usually what happens to people. So in this certain circumstance with the tragedy on TV, I'm dialed, I'm tuned out, um, everybody else is dialed in. And then and then the pendulum tries to hook me back in by saying, you know, you, you, you're irresponsible, or you don't care you're part of what's the wrong with you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So um, that's when your inner observer, and that in this case, that's when my inner observer 
turned on, right? Okay. This is transurfing is really just an advanced form of heightening your self awareness in lots of different specific areas, right? So this is where this is where um, in this certain circumstance, my inner observer helped me to wake up, understand exactly what was going on. And be able to uh, to deal with things, right? Simple solutions for complex problems, right? As Vadim puts it. So, so the inner, inner observer knows exactly what w- w- what's transpiring. It's easy. The pendulum's trying to hook me in, right? So, so I need to act, right? I need to drop importance. I need to understand that what my grandparents are saying is not a not a not something that I'm going to buy into. I'm still not going to hook myself into the pendulum and I need to just carry on with understanding myself, my reality and my relationship to it and the pendulums that are coming for me. Okay? So 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 defeating pendulums oftentimes you don't have to do anything, right? You don't have to. I know Vadim uses some 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 scenarios where like, you know, remember the one where the guy's on the train and the group of, you know, teens are coming for him mm-hmm. and he punches one of them in the face. Okay. So that's 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 an aggressive approach to um <laughs> defeating a pendulum, right? You could you could you could you could punch the pendulum in the face or you can um act erratically. You know, that's another thing he said, you know, do something in the moment that the pendulum Pendulum's not expecting you to do, and it kind of breaks it up and dissolves it, right? Yep. But the but the uh, but the other thing is, and 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 this is the one that I use most often, is I just drop importance on the situation entirely, entirely, and just ignore everything, right? It's 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 not necessarily about having to take uh, massive strides to do something. It's about it's about understanding what is going on and simply making the choice to tune out right? Don't let that person, and I get a lot of people that message me um, wondering how they deal with family members, people that they live with that are constantly challenging them or baiting them or, um, you know, doing something to to trigger some sort of altercation. I mean, we, we've all been there, right? I mean, look at the holidays in the United States. That's like, you know, that is, that's Pendulum City, right? You go into a, a, a family situation where there's a lot of different, you know, um, personalities and the dynamic is maybe a little stressed and there's some things going on in the background that, you know, people can um, tune into and then all of a sudden you're hooked and you're having an argument with your dad or your grandpa or, you know, it's, 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 it's very, um, it's very, uh, it's very common that you are going to be challenged in a domestic situation, right? So, so that's one that I get a lot. And, you know, I just, I, I reiterate the, the, the value in being able to drop importance uh, in regards to what someone thinks about you or what someone thinks you should be doing or, you know, what someone thinks about how you how you function in your reality. I know that I had a lot of problems when I first got into transurfing. People didn't like the fact that I had decided to tune out of certain things. But it's your level of importance that you place on what that person thinks of you or your how you want to be perceived by the people around you. If you can learn to drop importance on that, um, the, the 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 pendulums at hand are going to have a lot more uh, difficulty in getting their hooks in. So that's kind of how um, you know pendulums, uh, family pendulums, or or you know um, coworkers or whatever. You know that's dropping importance on your outward perception of yourself or needing to be validated by all other people, um, that's going to help a lot with those ones. Am I making sense? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, and I think the grandparents example with the news media, that brings very true for me because like, that's how I grew up. And a lot of people will hold that over your head as well and be like, well, if you're not paying attention, then you're, 
you're part of the problem. You need to, you know, you need to pay attention. But it's like you said, like in my immediate reality, when I look out the window, all I see are really happy squirrels and birds and people running down the sidewalk. You know what I mean? Like there's no, there's, there's nobody's heads on a stake. We've come a long way in the past few hundred years. You know what I mean? Yes. And you don't, absolutely. you know, like it's the least violent time ever to be alive. Yes. Um, and we don't have to respond. Yes. We, we, we can respond inadequately. Um, and we can also agree, but not really mean it. Right. <laughs> it's like, absolutely. Renting yourself out. Right. That's renting yourself out. Right. Is that what you're referring to? Absolutely. Okay, yes. Yeah, so that is that is um, you know, I I love to rent myself out because I feel yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. It is an amazing skill because you are aware at that point of what is going on and you are making a conscious decision that you're going to fuck with the pendulum. It's satire. Right? It's satire in action. Like it's amazing. Absolutely. Absolutely. And and people um, don't know what it is you're doing, right? So, so what what I like to tell people is when you're when you're being beckoned by a uh, a pendulum and you're you're hip to it, you know what's going on, right? And that pendulum wants something from you, okay? So let's say a parent or a boyfriend or girlfriend or a husband or wife or you know another family member um, wants you to give something is looking for something right is looking for an emotional exchange or um you know for them to see something in you that they've 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 deemed important they need to see that thing when you can be aware of that and give them that without actually being hooked in emotionally like when you can just turn into an actor and say okay this pendulum's coming for this I'm going to give this to them just so the, like, like what Vadim says, give the pendulum what it wants as quickly as you can give, it, per, give them the perception, right. Of, of, of what it, what, what the pendulum's looking for. And, and it will quickly go, it will go away. So the pendulum's looking for something and it's coming for you and it's looking for something. And there's so many different ways you can, you can go about that. But when you can learn to rent yourself out and give the pendulum uh, you know, the, 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 the idea that you are tuned in emotionally and you are giving it what it's asking for, but you're actually not, you're maintaining awareness at all times of what is going down in that scenario. You have, uh, developed a very, very advanced transurfing skill that is going to benefit you in so many ways in life. And the, the best part about it is, you have inverted that scenario from being an annoying scenario where somebody's trying to hook you emotionally and take your energy and blah, 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 to a completely polarized um, position of you're fucking with that pendulum and you're having fun and you know what's going on and you're giving that pendulum what it needs um, or what it's looking for in a way where you've almost turned it into a joke and it can make uh, pendulums go away really, really fast, you know, and it, and it's almost, it, it's, it's almost scary um, when you see that skill in work, when you realize that if a pendulum comes for you for you in the form of a human being coming at you for some reason, um, and you can give it, realize, okay, this 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 pendulum's coming at me and it wants this thing, and I give it this thing, and then it goes away. You realize in that moment how asleep that person is, you know, like how deep, deep asleep and unaware that person is. It's just acting on a script. And you're no longer acting on a script, you know, and it's, it's powerful. I mean, I've, 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 I've mastered that one quite a bit and I've had a lot of fun playing with that one, yeah. you know? Yes. That one's big for me too. Cause like I used to work a lot in the restaurant industry. Um, and it doesn't matter what industry you work in, but some people take jobs really, 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 maybe a little too seriously sometimes. And oh, absolutely, you know, micromanagers exist in any field. But like my personal experience would be like working at like this 
you know, sandwich shop and this dude freaking out about a ticket time or something and throwing a sandwich against the wall. And I'm like, dude, it's a goddamn sandwich, man. You know, yeah, like at yeah, the end of the yeah. day, you, you, there's no reason to trip over this. You know, there's onions oh, on yeah. it. We can remake it. Let's just fix the problem. You yeah. know, but when you uh, when you do give that person whatever it is that they want and you maybe like have like a, a smirk inside, you can't do it overtly. You have to be careful. Um, but if you have like you're like, yeah, sure, I'll do it this way. And then they do. They just go right away. And then it's it's your own personal inside joke. And then you just yes. move on forward. And then you just do it the way that they asked. And it's not a big deal. And you can just kind of shove it aside. And they're happy. But yet you're exactly yeah. right. Like you just realize, wow, this is really, really important to them. And it's not even oh, yeah. it's not even them. It's some it's something else that's demanding this of them. That's Yeah, they're like, they're like, they're like, um, they're like these weird, like host bodies, <laughs> you know, yeah. that are like the mannequins like, in Tufty. Like, like the mannequins in Tufty. Exactly. It's 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 like some weird. I'll tell you one that happened recently. And I felt like I was I felt like I was being entertained um, where where everybody else was like, oh, my God, you know, just plugged in. So I go to the local <laughs> local grocery store by my house. <laughs> No, this was outrageous. Oh, so I mean, excited. I walked in and I was like, I was like, this is so amazing. So I walk, I'm walking into the front doors of this grocery store and the entire place is shut down. And there are two people at the checkout counter in each other's face, screaming at the top of their lungs. You know, some guys like you motherfucker, get out of my, you know, and like just going nuts. Right. And these guys are hitting their chests together and like spits flying and there are people trying to separate them and um it was so weird they separated them a security guard took one of the guys out then the cop showed up and later when i walked out i saw both the guys um outside uh you know being being talked to by the police but anyway um they're, they're you know so they're they're chests are puffed they're hitting their chest together spits flying their faces were totally red i mean i was like wow this is incredible and the vibe after the two had been separated um everybody was like super quiet and they were like um there was almost like this i, I can't even i i don't even know what the vibe was it was like everybody was being super careful with what they said or like nobody wanted to like go in front of somebody in the line you know like there was this weird energy like Ooh, don't I don't want that to happen to me you know or something like that so so I get up to the checkout stand where this had just happened like you know five five ten minutes earlier and I, I asked the girl I was like what was that about and she goes uh she goes well it's um 15 items or less aisle and the guy had more more than 15 <laughs> items and the other guy was pissed <laughs> He's back there counting the items like oh my god these guys look like they were gonna kill each other you know these guys look like they were gonna kill each other so so man talk about getting overly involved in the 15 items or less pendulum you know <laughs> like like it was unreal but but for me right for me as an individual um who has control over myself one I could allow myself to get involved in the scenario of um, seeing it as being entertaining, right? But I did not allow it to affect my energy. I didn't become kind of like nervous, weird, scared energy that everybody else had. Uh, I just looked at it from the outside perspective and I continued to kind of just like, like, like silently nod my head like, yeah, I get it. Like you you have the option to tune in or you have the option to remain outside of it, remain aware of what it is. Now, it doesn't mean that you can't take some sort of, um, you know, enjoyment or pleasure or because, I mean, that's kind of what it was like. I felt like I had such an insight on what was going on energetically that I could that I could enjoy it. And that's what trans surfing really has done for me in a big picture is like what we were talking about earlier, Owen, before we started this conversation, started recording, you know, you get to view 
uh, you get to view events from a completely different perspective. You know, you, you, you get to be in control. Am I going to, and I don't want anybody to, to, to misunderstand me here or get me wrong. Like there are times where I will allow myself to get hooked into a pendulum and feed something negatively or, you know, do something um, that's probably outside of trans surfing, like, like, whoa, she's a trans surfer. But the thing is, is I'm doing it with awareness, right? Like, I will, I will allow myself to get hooked in, but I will have a limit on that thing right? Like this is how much negative energy or this is how much, you know, wh whatever it is that I'm giving, I, I have a limit. I know when to pull the ripcord, so to speak. So, so that's the difference between me and a person that's not trans serving. Sometimes, you know, when you don't do, when you're not following the laws of trans serving, you don't one know when that moment is that you should pull the ripcord. But, but most of all, you don't have the ability to pull the ripcord when you decide that it's a that you need to do that right so so most people stay plugged in to the pendulum in a way that it gets everything from you and then it's only until it's kind of gotten everything from you that you move on and what trans surfing is proposing here is that you know you have these tools that will help you identify exactly what's going on in any given situation and and be able to uh change the script, so to speak, where you're not just getting taken along for the ride. Yeah, you're making a deal. Uh, and it's kind of like like a mental kung fu. Like, how much am I going to allow myself to engage with this? Because you can. You could hop in there and break up the fight or um, get involved yeah. or, or take a side even um, in that particular yep. situation. But to how far you can actually to how far you're going to involve yourself, you can actually uh, control that. You can actually manage it. Exactly. Exactly. Managing it is a very, that's, that's a very, very good, to, to manage it is a very good uh, way of putting it. Um, you are, you are in the driver's seat and you are the one deciding energy in, energy out. Cause, right? not the effect. Cause. Ex exactly exactly so you know it's 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 a fun way to uh it's it's a fun way to be in everyday reality because my god don't we all have so many uh moments where you know when like you're driving and somebody cuts you off right mm -hmm. i mean you 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 at that moment Let's say you're driving somewhere and somebody cuts you off. That moment, if you are unaware, somebody cutting you off and you getting pissed and yelling at them, that can take you on a whole other track for the rest of your day. Mm -hmm. You know? Like that can, you can have a, you can have, a, and we'll talk about this at a later time, the induced transition, but that's ultimately uh, what, what we're challenged with on a daily basis is pendulum comes for you. Um, either you know how to deal with it or you don't. And if you don't, then you experience an induced transition and you are lowered to another track, right? That is not so favorable for, for you in your reality. So so the idea is that when the pendulum comes for you, that whatever track you've managed to elevate yourself to, uh, that when the pendulum comes for you, you know how to deal with it so you don't induce transition yourself and lower yourself onto another track where, you know, more more unfavorable circumstances await you. Yeah, he talks about in the book, like uh, being the observer and the participant, like being the director and the person who's performing on stage, the actor as well. And that's kind of like what you're talking. It's like we're not taking away our human characteristics. We still get to have our emotions and be human and play this game. But we also are taking with us this meta sort of perspective so that we're seeing the entire situation for what it is and not being completely just wrapped up in whatever is being packaged and, and sold to us as, as goods. 
Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So, so this is when, when people, uh, when I used to give trans serving instruction, this is what, this is what I would sort of, um, coach people to do. So, and this is because this, uh, this happened for me. So then I sort of developed a little, a little way to, 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 to bring yourself into the moment, so to speak, when you're being challenged by a pendulum. So, so what happened to me when I first, and maybe you can relate to this. What happened to me when I first found trans surfing is, um, I would be going pretty good, right? I'd, I'd have a positive attitude. Um, I'd be, you know, trans surfing and seeing things positively. And then, and then maybe like, let's say Saturday, I'm doing good, right? And then Sunday, about noon, I, I think to myself, oh, what happened? I was doing so good. And then uh, I've been thinking kind of negatively the last few hours, or actually all morning, I've been kind of feeling shitty, right? And then, and then I would realize, oh, a pendulum got me yesterday in the evening, right? So, so, so then what happened is uh, maybe instead of, you know, midday, I would realize the next day in the morning, right, that a pendulum had gotten me. And then, you know, as, as, as the, the, the knowledge evolved a little more in my mind, then maybe if a pendulum got me that day, I would realize it in the evening that day, right? So the, the amount of time getting, get, kept getting shorter and shorter as to when I would realize that a pendulum was, uh, that I had, I had been got by a pendulum. So then it would be like a few hours after right? And then it would be immediately after, right? Pendulum would get me and then I would somehow like kind of wake up and be like, oh, what just happened? Oh, pendulum got me. Where I am now is I can actually in the moment, I can say this is pen, this is a pendulum getting you, right? You're, you're, you're getting hooked in. Or if I'm doing really well, I can see it before it actually happens, right? I know when the pendulum's coming for me, but I have trained myself to then wake up right in that moment when the pendulum's coming for me and and turn on my tools, right? Activate my inner observer, drop importance, um, you know, all the stuff that I've learned. So 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 what I what I uh, you know suggest to to people wanting to learn how to transurf is, you know, figuring out, uh, when the pendulum's gotten you shortening that time and try to get it to where you can acknowledge in the moment that the pendulum's getting you or even better, um, be able to, to activate, uh, before you have decided to uh, plug in emotionally and then do the stuff that we're talking about now. So hey, did you did you experience anything like that? Do you know what I'm talking about? I know about? exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. And I, I would say, you know, it's it's been a matter of, for me, I would think about three and a half years now, just practice, 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 constant practice um, of me just continuously reminding myself and waking up and paying attention. And, you know, I don't think anybody has, it, 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 for other people, it might take them less time. I don't consider, consider myself to be the smartest, you know, tool in the, in the drawer, but like, Practice makes better and it's not about perfection. So like drop importance, right? But like every single time you notice it, that's a gold star. That's, that's, that's something that's good. And when you fall asleep, that's normal and that's okay. So, you know, yes. I've had to learn not to be hard on myself, but also saturating and soaking in this information, just like a soup, you know, and the, and the longer you, you sit in there, the better it gets. So, um, I can absolutely relate to that. Yes. Um, you know, every once in a while I'll see one coming, but a lot of times it's, it's when it happens, I start to notice it. Like traffic was one of the first times when yeah. I would notice that happening and then at work as well. Um, you know, when somebody would have some micromanaging thing that just, you know, just drove me nuts and like sent a angry fit up my spine, yeah. you know, and I'm like, this oh, yeah. doesn't even matter. It's completely relevant. Um, yeah. but then I learned like, oh shit, if I just agree with them quick 
then they'll go on and bother fucking somebody else, you know, and bother them. Oh, totally. And then I'm fine. It's, I'm in the clear. And I'll just I'll just turn the label of the wine bottle this way or whatever little thing it is. And, you yeah. know, it, it's it again, it's a matter of practice. I didn't do it right every single time. But over time, you get better at it. And then before you know it, your situation begins to improve and improve gradually uh, over time. Absolutely. And, 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 and I believe that when you can master the art of giving the pendulum what it's asking for or acting impeccably, so to speak, um, you know, that's Vadim speaks of that a few times in this chapter, you know, to act impeccable. Um, so, so the pendulum has little to, to grab onto, but then if it, but then if it does, right, like, let's say you're at the work, you're at work and you're, you are, managing all the things that you need to do you're acting impeccably so the pendulum can't uh can't can't see anything to 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 call you out on right but let's say that it does okay and then and then you've and then you've mastered the ability to rent yourself out um drop importance right give the pendulum what it's asking for to get it on its way when you can when you can practice this um, set of techniques and do this consistently in your reality, what you will find is people will actually um, consider you a very, very likable person because you are agreeing. um, You are agreeing with what the pendulums, uh, what the pendulums terms are, so to speak. You're, 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 you're not coming up against it. So, so then the, 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 the pendulum views you favorably, right? Then, then you're, then you're friends with the pendulum. And that's ultimately where you want to be. If you want smooth sailing in your reality, right? Little, little disturbance. So you can keep your thought quality at the frequency that you've chosen, right? It's, it's about neutralizing your environment to the extent that you are finding the place where you can function in the most effective, efficient way possible for yourself and your frequency, you know, and that's, and that's kind of it when you can. So, so what I like to say about transurfing is the first part of, um, and I think I said this in my interview, but the first part of the knowledge in the book, it like the first half is kind of, um, managing your external reality right? It's, it's learning how to, to, to manage all these things we're talking about. Then the second part of the book is managing your own, you know, your own thoughts and your own, um, intents and objectives and, and goals and doors and heart and mind and all that kind of stuff. So, so the, 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 the first, the first part of the knowledge is developing, helping you to develop a way that you get to choose how you are going to plug into your reality and respond to all the circumstances that you um, are in every day, you know, and we all are, we all, I mean, we're all challenged. So, you know, it's, 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 it's amazing. It's amazing stuff. And what I tell the people that have taken instruction from me is even if you get caught up, right. Uh, just stand back and look at it as a learning experience. Look at it through the transurfing filter and break it down. Okay, what actually happened here, right? What actually transpired? And the more times you do that, the more um, the more it all starts to seem like it just doesn't matter. You yeah. know, I mean, I know that's, that's really good. Yeah. And also, you know, as you develop that skill and you continue, then you can add the, the more advanced thing and say, you know, how, how was this to my advantage and what could I have done to make this a, a bigger win? It's an advantage to learn the lesson first and foremost, but as we get better and better at recognizing these situations and these pendulums, well, we can create it to our advantage in that moment. It's like you're talking about when you when you see it coming, well, you can take advantage of it before it even happens in that moment. Like you're ahead of the game. Oh yeah. I mean, I, I, there, there are, 
there are so many times where I feel like I am ahead of the game. Like the, 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 the situation with walking into that grocery store, as soon as I heard people yelling, my immediate thought was, Oh man, there is some crazy pendulum going on in here. Let's go see what's going Mm on. You know? And, and here I am walking into that scenario with, uh, some structure, right? How am I going to conduct myself here? What energy am I going to give? What am I going, how am I going to observe this? Um, what does it mean to me? You know, like I have a little bit of a, I have a little bit of a protocol for myself, right? Rather than walking into something blindly and then you walk out and you feel like shit. Yeah. And you were like, what the hell was that? What just happened? What just happened? Yeah. What just happened? Um, I think we talked about this in our last episode with pendulums that, uh, that, you know, that doesn't happen for me anymore. You know, what just happened? Like I I used to, I used to all the time something would happen and, and, and then I would later um, sort of like come out of it and I'd be like, God, why did I do that? Or what just happened or what's going on? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did talk about that. That's right. Yeah. Like throwing plates and relationships and, you know, very, very common stuff. Everybody, the stuff that everybody's done, you know? Yeah. But that's, that's you, that's you hooked into the pendulum, giving it everything you got right? No, 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 you know, there's no inner observer activated there. You know, I mean, you're just, you're just flying by the seat of your pants. Um, the problem with that is it, 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 it's, it's a destructive, um, dysfunctional environment when you're plugged in, in the wrong way, you know? Um, and you're definitely not living your best self, you know, not even close, but like, yeah, not even I close. think that he even talks about it in the book where he's like talking about people just going on like a getting blind with rage, you know, and that's that's oh, yeah. something that happens where people just they do they basically just black out like and they just are completely oh, yeah. asleep and and controlled by this by this pendulum, and then oh, later absolutely. on they're like, what was that? You know, like I I don't even know like I don't even remember doing it. I just like here I am, and now the cops are on the way or whatever. Yeah. So, um, so something happened, uh, a few weeks ago by my house, um, uh, the freeway here in town, um, there was on the news that this, um, these, these two guys got into a road rage, uh, incident and, um, they pulled their cars over on the freeway and the one that was instigating it um, got out the car and w- was walking over to the um, to the other car to like you know pull the guy out. I think he had like a bat or a crowbar or something, and he was like going to go and you know do something do something bad. And he got hit by a car and ki- and killed. And then and then and then um, the 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 t- two other guys in the car got out. And I don't know what happened, but one of them ended up getting hit by a car too. Crazy, huh? One, just, one, just one died and one was like, you know, severely hurt in, you know, re- really bad condition. But, you know, this is an excellent example of the, you know, they, they got hooked into, um, I mean, there's a lot of different things going on here. And this is an extreme example. But, you know, when I break it down, through the trans surfing filter, um, there was a lot of importance going on there, right? There was a lot of inner importance and, and, and inner importance is something we haven't really talked about too much, but feeling like you are an important person, you know, and if somebody steps on your toes that you need to rectify that situation, uh, in whatever way at the time you, 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 you deem appropriate, that is, that is, that is a self pendulum that um, will keep you in a very. It's, it's not going to be a good place to live. Live. I mean that. Look at look at what happened with these guys. So so they're driving. They're both in their cars, and 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 somebody cut somebody off, right? And just like I was talking about earlier, you know, that is a moment where there's there there's a fracture right you have either the opportunity to keep resonating at your frequency and just give the pendulum what it wants and see it on its way right guy cuts you off just let him go whatever 
right? But in this case, um, there was a fracture and there was an opportunity to, to go down another track, which unfortunately they both did, right? So they go down this other track and nothing but bad things are waiting on this track, but they have bought into this importance um, this pendulum with importance in some way that they're, Oh, I got to prove myself. I got to prove myself. Well, I'm going to pull this car over and I'm going to beat your ass. Yeah. Right. And then, and then look what happens. Right. So that is, that is the pendulum, that pendulum, that pendulum literally, literally took everything from them. You know, <laughs> I mean, in a snap too, everything. how fast did that happen? Just immediately. How exactly how fast did that happen? I mean, and I hear stuff like that and I'm like, wow, you know, I mean, I know a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, that's so horrible. And I saw this and I saw that. And it's like, I kind of don't, I don't really see it that way. You know, I see it like you just got involved with a pendulum. You just did some business with a pendulum that w was asking for a lot in return, right? For your life, ultimately, you know, and that happens. I mean, look at war pendulum, mm -hmm. right? I mean, it's asking for a lot. It's asking for right? everything. Mm -hmm. It's asking for everything. And, 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 and this is why I speak out about the media so much. And I know, obviously, I'm, I'm being a little bit, um, you know, I'm, 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 I'm feeding the pendulum some negative energy here when I speak out about it. But, um, you know, I, 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 I understand what I'm doing, but it, it, it you know, I do feel it's necessary to, uh, you know, extend to people that are just getting involved in trans surfing uh, how the media pendulum or politics or even social media, for that matter, um, can be really, really, really destructive if you don't have control over yourself. You know, the media pendulum asks for a lot. It's asking for you to resonate at a low frequency permanently. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot, you know, the social, the social media pendulum, it's asking you for your constant, constant, constant attention. That's a lot. That a lot. So getting back to defeating, you know, defeating these, these entities, um, importance really is really is key to keep in mind, you know, um, it's not important that you look at social media as much as you do. It's not important. World events, current events, politics, no, no importance on your life. This is how I like to break it down for people. Uh, let's say a flood's happening. And your house is, the water's rising in your house and you can't find a way out, right? And you've got your dogs and your cats and your family or whatever, and you guys are all trying to escape for your lives. That is an immediate situation that's important, right? You gotta, you gotta figure out a way to fight for your life, right? Anything that's going on in your reality on the news or somebody that you know that knows somebody else that something happens or whatever things that you hear none of that stuff's important that's not in your immediate reality you know so 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 valuing that is really of no importance i mean it doesn't do it's not you are fine you're sitting in your house you are fine right you have the choice to live your life and be whatever on whatever track you want to be on you know, so you gotta, you gotta, you gotta make that choice, you know? So that's kind of, that's kind of where I stand with importance. Yeah, that's really good. Can we just really quickly, uh, and then I'll just sort of review what we've gone through. Can we just really quickly talk, uh, about the difference, the two types of importance we have, we, we have inner and outer importance. So for instance, the guys who got in that fight, uh, the road rage thing, that's inner importance, right? Where one person saying, I'm more important than you are. How dare you cut me off? And the other person yeah. saying, screw you, buddy. I'm more important than you yeah. are. And then that's their conflict. Whereas the outer yes. importance would be like a pendulum that we serve, uh, maybe like the media or you know, some bigger idea that's not even us, where we've basically lost our identity and service to it, correct? <clears throat> Yes, exactly. Exactly. The, the, the bottom line is, is the external, the external pendulums are asking you to say, I deem this important for this reason. 
right? I deem this important, um, you know, that uh, I believe in this political party, that's important. That's, or I, you know, um, I, I need to be rich, that's important. Or I need to, you know, feed this pendulum in some way because that's important. And then the, 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 the self-importance is, I have, I, I am an important person because, or, or I, I have this idea about myself that's important and I want everybody else to agree with this important idea about myself, you know, and, 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 and in my opinion, the self-importance can actually be a lot more destructive, believe it or not, because circumstances, um, come and go. Right. Or or or, you know, you can you can you can mitigate a little bit more easily stuff that's going on externally because there's other distractions around. Whereas if you've got some weird self-important script running in your head, um, that can just run on per that can just run on permanently, you know. Right. Right. And. You know, I, I, the, 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 the last, um, certification trainer certification I did, I had four people in the class and, um, we were talking about this extensively and I said, I said, what I do now, and I know that a lot of people are like, God, that's so weird. That's that does, that doesn't sound right. But what I do now when I wake up in the morning is the first thing that I tell myself is everything that I do today is of very, very little to no importance. And I am not an important person. You know, I am not an important person and everything I do today is not important. That immediately discharge uh, any excess potential from happening in my reality. I actually have a lot, not a lot of people know this. I, maybe I'll post a picture of it now on, um, on, on Instagram, but I actually have, uh, uh, no importance tattooed really? on my rib cage. <laughs> <in Russia>. yeah. <laughs> yes. And I'll, and, I'll tell, and I'll tell you why. And I'll tell you why, because every single morning when I wake up and I take a shower and I go stand in front of my mirror, I want to be reminded that everything throughout my day, including myself, is of no importance. And if I can do that, if I can, if I can, if I can get to that place, touch on it in the morning, the rest of my day is actually really, really fun. Um, I don't invite in balancing forces. I don't create a lot of excess potential for myself or what my endeavors. And 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 life becomes kind of like a video game you know, and, and if I die, I die, who cares, you know, or if I, if I, I, I I lose some money or something else happens, who cares? It's just like a a video game. The next day I'll try to get that money back or I'll try to get my health back or I'll try to get my, you know, whatever, complete the level, you know, but that's, 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 that's how I start my day is I look at that tattoo, no importance, drop importance. I'm getting one. I'm getting one. I'm going to get one maybe in Japanese script, but also barbed wire around it. I'm going to do it right. Do it. <laughs> no, do it. that's awesome. No, that's great. Um, so cool. So cool. Yeah. I, a lot of times yeah. I'll, I'll put on like OT Genesis right now. That's my jam. Like everybody mad. That's my, that's my jam right now. And I'll just dance in the morning and that's, yeah. Yeah, I just let awesome. it all go. I'm like, I don't care. Because like, Yeah. It's a video game. Who cares? Exactly. It's a video game. And if you, and if you go down a level or you mess up and you die or you this or you that or whatever happens the next day, you go back at it again, you know, but if you go into your day charged with importance, it's important I get this job or it's important that I be this person or it's important that I get this partner. It's important that I do this. Um, you know, and I know we didn't touch a lot on, on excess potential and balancing forces, but uh, you know, to sum it up quickly, um, when you attach excessive significance to yourself or your circumstances outside of you or something in your reality, you are creating excess potential, right? Which is essentially a space that you can fall through. Uh, another word for this is disappointment, right? And when you when you put yourself up like that, when you build yourself up or you build a circumstance up or an event up and you're elevated, right? Excess potential, uh, that gives balancing forces the cue to come in and try to sweep you off your feet. Just like the guys that got hit by the car in the road rage incident, 
right? Reality set out to prove otherwise of what they were deeming important. I am an important person. You are not going to fuck with me. I'm an important person. Well, guess what? Our reality is balanced in nature. And what happened at that moment is that reality set to set itself out to, to, to equalize that imbalance that those two gentlemen had just created. Right. And, and it came in the form of just eradicating them from reality. So you have one guy literally minutes before his death saying, I am an important person. And guess what? Reality said, no, you aren't right? No, you aren't. So obviously this is again, an extreme example, but this is true for all of our endeavors every day. If you go at it thinking you're important, what may happen is reality will invite imbalancing forces to equalize your level of importance that you've just created, which is coming in the form of excess potential and prove you wrong. You're not important. So the key here, obviously, drop importance. If you can learn to drop importance on yourself, your endeavors, your what people think about you, all the things that you want, if you can just generally learn to drop importance, you don't invite in these balancing forces, you don't create any excess potential, and it's much easier for you to resonate on a frequency where you can get exactly what it is you intend to have, period. That's awesome. It's pretty yeah, fun. It's, it's great. No, I mean, once you learn the rules of the game, then it can be very fun to play the game, you know, like you get to be that observer and the participant at the same time. So just a quick review, how to defeat pendulums. Number one, like you just said, drop importance, inner and outer pendulums, get us to believe that they're important or whatever it is that they stand for. And that creates excess potential and balancing forces. So the way that we uh, can deal with that, or there are several ways we don't have to respond at all. We don't owe anybody anything. Uh, we could respond inadequately or, you know, against what the person or the pendulum expects us to do, maybe make a joke. Um, we can agree, uh, but not really mean it. So that would be renting yourself out, which is what you learn to do uh, with your grandparents. <clears throat> and then uh, we talked a little bit about making a deal, which we briefly touched on in the last episode, just the management of the pendulum itself. We can involve ourselves and we get to do that as human beings. We get to play that game. We get to have the emotions and do all of that stuff, but we want to manage that and we want to be, you know, just be aware of what we're investing in. We want to be at the cause and not at the effect. As soon as we uh, notice that we're being affected by a pendulum, that's when we want to wake up and we want to re- we want to take the director's role at that point and stop playing the actor. Uh, we want to practice, we want to practice, and we want to practice because practice makes better. It's not about perfection. It's not about beating ourselves up when we go to sleep, but we want our time between going to sleep to go s- smaller and smaller and smaller incrementally as we continue to practice. And when we do that, the way we do that is to activate the inner observer and, of course, drop importance. We want to act impeccably when we rent ourselves out. Uh, it's like I was talking about earlier, like having that inside joke with yourself when somebody's like, do it this way. And they're micromanaging. Be careful not to smirk because as soon as you do that and they, it's visible, that, that will ruin all your work. <laughs> so don't do that. Absolutely. <laughs> and it, yes, absolutely. And then you talked about the flood example. Like that's, you know, that's a time when you need to take action. You need to, um, you know, if, if things are happening like to you in that moment, well, it's time to wake up and start taking care of business. But until yes. that situation presents itself, then you can be a little bit more passive. Um, anytime that we allow ourselves to feel important as a person, or we think that our cause is important, that creates excess potential. And that will, um, that will be blowback that will set us back and move us off of our path and, 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 and change our, our vibrations. So Absolutely. So we'll talk, uh, of course, a little bit next time. I imagine we'll probably talk about balancing forces. Is that right? 
Uh, yeah, we can we can talk about some balancing forces. Um, I, what I would like to speak about okay. next time actually is a li- little more okay. fun. Uh, I want to go over the okay. wave of fortune or the wave awesome. of success, and then and then and then um, after that, we'll talk about uh, the induced transition, the generational okay. shift, and and balancing okay. forces. Um, I think that'll kind of you know let's go on a wave here. You know, let's kind of m- go from down <laughs> yeah. to up, and then see and then see and then see what'll then then will see what will affect your 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 wave of success so um it's all it's all about the flow no i dig it that's awesome so next time we will talk about the wave of fortune and we've talked about defeating pendulums pendulums themselves as well as the space of variation so far so get caught up if you haven't already and we will see you guys next time thanks so much And that does it for this installment of Transurf and Chill. We hope you guys have had a nice, intimate get-together with us. We really appreciate your time and attention. Be sure to share this uh, show with your friends. Let them know what we're doing here at Transurfing TV. If you're looking to go deeper, be sure to check out transurfing.us. And... Buy the book, read the book, buy Tufty, read Tufty. Check out Vadim's website, zealands.com. All these links will be in the show notes. Really appreciate it, guys. We'll see you guys on the next one. And uh, in the meantime, if you want to uh, support production of this podcast, you can do that via Patreon slash Bootsy Greenwood. Also, be sure to follow Renee on the Instagrams at reality underscore transurfing. So that's your homework for this time. We'll see you on the next one.